Yeah, that's it. That's him. That's Callum the Wizard. Gonna be Ravenclaw. All right, let's go. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me. He looks a little confused. George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> God, that it's laugh. <laughs> that laugh is so morale, dopey. <laughs> best not speak here, Eliasar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. This game looks Eight good, man. Since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. And off it goes. Thestrals, obviously. Uh, man, oh, hello, specious top hat man. And he, he's gone. He, he just, that's it. That's the end of him. That's the last we're ever gonna see of him. What I want to know is, do the, the, the guy driving, does he, can he see the Thestrals? Is that, is that like a requirement for that job? You have to have seen death? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course. Yeah, I'm kind of special. I'm like a really big deal for a 15 year old. I'm basically the Harry Styles of the Harry Potter universe. Before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> Ah, uh -huh. he's got a brown nose. Look at that. It's covered in poo. Oh, goblin uh, there. He looks a bit grumpy. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues oh. of the ministry, <laughs> I believe he is a significant... What is that? <laughs> and it was your wife, Eliazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me. <laughs> Mate, you have got some hairy fucking hands. My goodness. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. By 
Merlin's beard. Uh, how did you wait? We do. Oh my goodness. Well, rip George, I guess. Unless he somehow makes it out of that. No, oh, he's still in there. He's still. He's. He's not making it through. He's definitely not making it through that. And now we can see Thestrals. He did that without a wand. It's not every day you see that. Yeah, nah. George is dead. We can see Thestrals now. That's how that works. Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Go on, drink it. Stop looking at it. it looks gross, but just drink it, buddy. <laughs> what happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What got eaten what by a dragon? Yeah, a I'm very surprised as well. Attacking a carriage midair. A typical dragon would never. Professor. <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly pork. I'd stick to look around. Uh, look, I'm probably dizzy, you know, after a fall like that. You know? What was in that Wigan World potion, Professor? I'm I'm the room's spinning. Like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this pork key. Or why. What a good opening, though. Already seen death, <laughs> but that's all right. How far did that poor key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands, sir. Those ruins. Do you the think... poor key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. I mean, this path looks very clear, Professor. I'm no expert. Mind your step. Mind my step. Where do you suppose you mean... your wife got the port key that brought us here? Oh. A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. I'm gonna see real quick. I'm just gonna adjust the audio a little bit because it is quite loud even in my ears. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. <laughs> this actually looks mad. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. 
spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. With great power comes great responsibility. It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Okay. Whoa. Look at that. Excellent. Very cool. Now I can just destroy everything. Professor Fig, I'm sorry, I'm a dark wizard. It's time for you to die. Woo. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Dude, You're it looks so good. Thank you, sir. And the animations are really nice. Oh, that's cool. How you twirl? That, yeah, I like the animations a lot. Ah, oh, up there. Sorry, I'm just destroying everything. But oh, Professor I've fallen, I'm dead. Please uh, send help, Professor. Steady yourself. Repair Damn, it's windy out here. <laughs> so cool, dude. There. Destroy all the pots. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Well, this looks out of place. <laughs> so if I hold up, I get the information on the quest, which is very cool. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm, perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. There's a statue of him here. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. His home, you reckon? Bit secluded. What's that? There's a house over there. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig. Ooh. Creepy whispers. Where's Fig? There he is. Come on, old man. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Oh my god, it turned to stone. Oh my Every god. Heart. It's Medusa. I don't believe it. Oh, are we in Gringotts? Are we? Hello? Hello, 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 I just want all my money. 
Give me... Actually, you know what? Give me the entire bank. I'll take the bank. You certainly hey, need a manicure. A <laughs> Look at those nails. My god, bro. And scratch your ass with that, do you? Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. Precisely. The key? Mm -hmm. Your wife's portkey. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. How does he know which vault we want? Now, so do, close. how does he know we have the key? Because this isn't the main entrance, surely. After you. inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them <laughs> mate you could do with putting your nails outside the cart to bloody cut them oh my goodness how many volts are there in Greenland? wow hundreds in fact you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12 as we speak we're just beneath the main lobby the vaults you see now are the newest are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Interesting. You'll want to take a breath. A what? Oh my god, it's the waterfall. That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Oh, good. All right. Mm -hmm. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. Got an interesting armband. On your way. His eyes also look a bit weird. It's like a shade of red. over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. <laughs> Can hear little notes from Hedwig, Hedwig's theme the then. That was cool. Was a goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Vault 12, thank you for your help. There's a thing to interact with over here. It's a chest. Oh my god. I'm stealing from Gringotts Bank. You saw nothing, sir. 
What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. This is very PS1, PS2 era Harry Potter right here. Like, uh, tracing the, the spells. Easy. I'm a professional wizard. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. See something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir, I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. <laughs> that statue. It's a special what skill of mine. I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. House owners love me, because I can change the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Yes, yes, let me cast Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. Does follow the light. Yeah, right, you've done it now. Look out! Protego! Accio! Descendo! Levioso! Deposo! Deposo! Oh, here we go. We're getting combat. Oh Exposed. my god. Potato, Professor, I only have basic shot. Oh, 
<laughs> Professor, if you could stop killing them for a second, I need to, you know, defend against them. God damn it. Pig. Please. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Professor. Professor. There we go. Stay close. Uh, he's gone. He's dead. Professor, Professor Fig, Professor, where are you? Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. That's where they're leading me. That glow again. Lumos. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Oh, there's multiple. There you go. Easy puzzle for the start of the game. Oh, and I've awakened them. What the hell? <laughs> Whose idea was this? I could have just left them alone. If you hold it, yeah, I think I was just accidentally doing that. If you hold it, you can't stupefy. Is it like a counter spell? Oh, I've been hit. Hello. There's a lot of you. Combat is very satisfying, even just with basic shots and stuff. Ah uh, yes, floating object. Touch it. Touch it. I've watched Indiana, Do Indiana Jones. Touch it. Touch it. Yes. Oh, hello, Fig. I thought you died. That's a shame. <laughs> what is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. <laughs> Don't like the way it just dripped out. Follow my lead. Is 
in place. The Portier is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Yes, I am. I am that student. Give me all the power. I will do great things with it. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were all looking rather different when it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. <laughs> I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vaults. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let by. He's got those red people. eyes. Maybe maybe it's a goblin feature. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> yeah, bud, back off. Choose your next words wisely. I I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have a full... No. You didn't choose your next words carefully, bud. That's what happens. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well... Perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. His armor glows whenever he uh, casts magic. Maybe it like enhances his magic. Oh, he's done. He's done it now. Look at that, bud. You've triggered the trap. You made the vault angry. Now the vault is fighting back. He instantly gets crushed. <laughs> I know way out. so powerful a goblin he seemed wholly unaffected by my magic where are we <laughs> it can't be it seems those who set up the pensive the locket and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here no. Come. Little Hedwig's theme sting in the background. There, there it is. 
and Hogwarts Express. Hedwig's thing playing in the background a little bit. Our home, Hogwarts, it's glorious. Not a bad intro, honestly. I'm, you know, I'm not too fussed about that, honestly. You know, nice and quick, got some story beats in, gave us some questions that we want to be answered. Not too bad. And now the real adventure begins. the sorting ceremony I'm no expert but that seems more appropriate. <laughs> our school robes I need to study this locket as soon as I can but first I must contact the ministry they need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock for the moment I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me of course sir thank you ready for the sorting ceremony absolutely <laughs> that kid rushed off so quick. <laughs> mm, he doesn't look happy. Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Oh. Big. Nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremonies over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. What do you mean if I'm lucky? Just plop the hat on my head. I'll be in touch. Look, this headmaster seems a bit of a bit of a knob, but I, I dig his outfit. <laughs> Very stylish. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Yes, sir. Sort me into Ravenclaw. Let's go. Just in time. Have a seat. Ravenclaw. 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 <laughs> It's so good. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. Honestly, I've said it. Exploring the castle is like my number one thing I want to do. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm, indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm, you're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. Absolutely. Bang on. Bang on, my friend. Um, we can uh, choose different houses. We can be like, hey, no, you got it wrong. But uh, he got it dead on, so. You belong in Ravenclaw. Yay. Oh, there we go. She's changed her uniform. We've been sorted. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. 
What? Who do you think you are, buddy? Enough. Can't cancel Quidditch. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. I'm gonna fly my broom into your face. Tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Wow. Way to ruin the vibe. Quite an entry. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you <laughs> be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. I'm not gonna lie, even though I'm a Ravenclaw, I probably would have said ghost. <laughs> you have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor. I wouldn't have got it. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Look at that. They got the castle bang on for this. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Rebellion. Anything in here? No? Okay. What's that? The Appleby Arrows. 1612. Quid local Quidditch team, I guess. No, oh, can't go down there apparently. Oh, you know why? That's gonna be that's the witch's dormitory, because we came out from this end. That's cool. Although, where where's the knights for the boys, huh? The girls are just allowed to come in. Is that... Must be different. Mm, not like either. You can eat an apple. My God, game of the year. <laughs> I want him to be in the perfect place, a place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones. <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Disney seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Disney is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Disney used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wigan World Potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wigan World. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. 
We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say her apologies in my roots. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your ditany. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. Alrighty. What else is there to do? <laughs> this could be interesting. You good? You good dude? One moment. Watch this. Mate, what are you doing? <laughs> Why would you do that? That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh, what do you mean? It was a dung bomb. Of course they're going to walk off and go, ooh, it stinks. I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. What? I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb. And I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Wow. You got an interesting voice. Fun fact, that's the uh that's the character that Luke Youngblood voices, who played Lee Jordan in the uh in the Harry Potter movie. You think you could Ah that is not how that Why hello? Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. <laughs> Amit, this is uh, you're peeping on the Gryffindor common room. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I mean, uh, like, I like the look of stars, so I'll just say that. I hope astronomy's on my schedule. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth year. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. <laughs> I suppose I'll see you in class then. <laughs> yes. Oh, and uh, that line doesn't sit well with the joke I made before. <laughs> Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. Or are you sniffing pages? Hey there. New Bit Ravenclaw. odd. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. She would best not keep her waiting. <laughs> where, where was that kid? Where is he? Oh, I'm sorry, bud. You tripped over me, not the other way around. I hear a snitch. I'm very happy with the Ravenclaw common room. I like it a lot. It's pretty fancy. 